how's it going guys just wanted to go over my folding patio that i built got it set up on a hinge system uh, and some stainless steel cables uh, built it out of a uh, tri-fold motorcycle ramp and uh, bolted it to the back bumper i'll just kind of go over what it uh, what it looks like when it's folded out extended and uh, basically just go over the steps on how i built it um, I've got my glow step from Torque Lift set up on the end of it. I've got it uh, positioned over on the uh, far right hand side now, but I've drilled holes on the last um, panel on the motorcycle ramp so I can have three different positions for the step. So it just kind of depends on you know what the campsite looks like. It's uh, real easy to switch it back and forth. So anyway, I'll uh, go over the ramp and uh, or the uh, patio and show you how I built it and what it looks like. Basically, I've just I've got it uh, set up here, uh, just secured with a bungee cord so the step doesn't flop around and vibrate um, when I'm driving down the road. But I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Basically, how I would set it up um, when I'm at a campground or if I pull into an RV park or something like that. Uh, so this is what I do. I won't uh, fold the step down over there because it's sitting in my driveway right now. But it's uh, set up on stainless steel cables. Each one of these cables has a 800 pound uh, capacity, uh, the tensile strength, I guess they call it. Uh, and there's four of them uh, to the outside corners and then on the uh, outside of the first panel here. I do have it set up with some turnbuckles. They're uh, six inch steel turnbuckles uh, so if i do get some stretching uh, throughout the year you know winter time or summertime, i can just uh, tighten up the turnbuckle and get everything leveled out so it's pretty simple um, i can uh, go over some of the steps for how i built it i just uh I bought the motorcycle ramp from eBay. It was a, uh, it, it came as a tri-fold ramp, so I didn't have to do anything to the ramp except drill um, some holes for the uh, eye bolts. And uh, I have carabiners uh, on the ends of the eye bolts and um, yeah, C-clips uh, on the ends. They uh, basically just make it really easy if I need to switch out the cables I can take the carabiners off and replace the cables real easily um, it's got four turnbuckles two on that side two on this side so it's got full adjustability and uh, you know that that just accounts is to let you make up for any cable stretching so I drilled some holes uh, some extra holes in the uh, motorcycle ramp the motorcycle ramps aluminum I built some extra, or drilled some extra holes and put in some extra eye bolts just so I could have tie down points uh, for bungees and stuff like that. So, uh, or ratchet straps. Uh, I do put a few things on the, on the back end of it when I'm traveling down the road. Uh, I've got my gray water tote, a um, couple of water tanks, uh, you know, five gallon water jugs and maybe a thing of firewood or something like that, but not a whole lot of weight back there. And uh, then I just drilled some holes through the uh, back bumper here and ran bolts through. Um, I did uh, self-tapping screws to get the holes drilled and then ran bolts through with nylocks uh, on the inside. And uh, holds it really good. It's been on here for about four years and uh, haven't had any problems with it. I um, I just uh, you know check the cables, make sure that everything is leveled out uh, when I go to set up camp, and it's ready to go. It's um, 
it's about seven feet for the width and with the back including the back bumper uh, seven feet wide so uh, or seven feet long so seven feet wide seven feet long and I can fit a couple of camp chairs on there uh, and a table great place to uh, bring out the awning sit back have a cup of coffee in the morning or eat dinner out in the evening have a beer or something like that uh, it's just just kind of nice to be up off the ground keeps the inside of the camper clean and uh, just a nice addition and um, yeah I guess that's about it I'll, uh, I'll grab the camera and just kind of get get a couple of closer shots here okay so there's kind of a full shot of it you see the cables coming down to support the ends it's real stable um, I've got my carabiners that are hooked up to the eye bolts which actually go through the rear jack holes there same with this one here fully adjustable stainless steel cable the uh, the jacket the clear jacket uh, as discolored I would probably not do the, the clear jacket next time when I do replace them I, I've, I have replaced these cables once um, I didn't really need to, but it was before I put uh, the turnbuckles on. And uh, when I put the turnbuckles on, I just replaced the cables because it, uh, you know, changed the length of them. And I used just door hinges, steel door hinges. Go through the back bumper. And it's bolted in there, solid. This ramp is aluminum again. It's uh, fully welded. Uh, really good quality non-slip surface this has it's not sharp but it's got a non-slip property to it so it's really nice to have that feature um, I'll just kind of step up on it here I don't have my step down because it, I've parked in front of my house and I've got it a little bit too close but the step goes down when it's on the truck the step goes down and it's the right height Oh, and here's the uh, those other holes that I have for adjustability. I don't know if you can see that. There's one there. So it'll go from that hole to that hole for the center, and then from that hole to that hole over there uh, to have it over on the left side. So that's kind of a nice little thing. Step up on it here. Just, uh, just doesn't move hardly at all. And... Uh, and get, you know, my wife and I and uh, the two two kids, we can be sitting up here if, if we all wanted to. Um, usually my wife and I will sit up here and have our coffee in the morning. And uh, it's really nice. So anyway, there you have it. It uh, sure is a nice addition to a cab over camper with the rear entry. Yeah, I've got my awning there, so when we've got the awning out, it's a uh, you know, nice shady spot in the daytime and place to kind of sit up out of the dirt. If you happen to be, you know, a beach camping or something like that, it's really nice to be able to uh, extend out and have some clean area. Really keeps the inside of the camper clean and um, or cleaner, you know. Um, and uh, also, it's a place for the dogs to lay down. Uh, we do take our dogs on trips uh, from time to time uh, we take our dogs with us so they you know they can lay we can throw their beds out here and they can lay on it or we can put their beds underneath or their crate underneath and uh, they've got shade so it's really nice uh, anyway that's that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions you know shoot me uh, some comments or uh, let me know what you guys think I'll throw a couple of pictures in here uh, from some of our trips showing, uh, you know, us using it. And uh, just that way you can kind of get an idea of how much room there is when there's a couple chairs and a, a table up there. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope you guys like it. You know, it, it was under, I think, $300, maybe $350 total with everything, even uh, after I redid the cables and, and the turnbuckles. So pretty inexpensive a nice addition 
and uh, I, I get people come up to me all the time. Everywhere I go, they want to stop and look at it, and uh, I, I like to, you know, tell people, you know, how I did it, and yeah, maybe they can do it to their camper. So anyway, hope you guys are having a good one, and uh, we'll see you next video. I just thought I'd better show you guys how I fold it up too. So this is how I fold it up. And those clamps that I put on the end are just a little added security there to keep it from rattling around while I'm going down the road because it's a folding ramp that that one's hinged there and then that one's hinged right there so it's tied on the on those ones that are hinged with the ones that aren't hinged I gotta keep clamps on them so that's what that's for all right, have a good one.